Hi everyone. Uh, first off, I'm going to go over some background information before I explain how to use my system uh, to get unlimited credits onto your SNAP station. If you want to skip all this, I'll put the timestamp to the beginning of the instructions in the description below. So if you have a Pokemon SNAP station, you might know that the only official way to print stickers on this thing is to use the cards that Blockbuster gave out in 1999. The, only, the other thing you might know is that once you use the digital credits on these cards, they're pretty much gone forever and the card is basically only good as a souvenir. There's some rumors that go around that say you can just open up the SNAP station and press a button or flip a switch on the inside to insert credits, but that isn't the case. I've checked all over the custom circuit board in there, and the only switch in there allows the operator to uh, to change how long the SNAP station stays on before it resets for the next user. There's at least one other method on YouTube that allows you to print stickers with count cards and credits, but it requires you to open up your SNAP station every time you want to print your stickers and perform the process on the printer manually. It works, but it doesn't provide the same experience you might have had as a kid. So what I set out to do was try to get the process as close to the original experience as possible. Uh, so first I'll demonstrate what happens when you try to insert a credit card with a credit on it, and a card that doesn't have a credit on it. Um, so, uh, here's uh, what, the, what the cards look like. Uh, this is a card that I have that does have a credit on it. Um, so, you can see that it's a regular smart card. You might have seen these before. Uh, they're used in Sims. So you plug that into the card reader on the SNAP station, and you can see that it shows that you have one credit. Um, because they use an LED display here, I kind of figure that they uh, intended on using more than one credit at one point, uh, but they never did as far as I know. Um, so if you have a valid credit, you can go to the, uh, to the gallery, and you'll be able to print using this credit. And what happens is that after you attempt to use the credit, it uses the credit permanently, sets this to zero, prints out your uh, your pictures, and that's it. So I'm not going to demonstrate that because it's uh, a good card, but uh, we'll take out the good card. And now I have a Squirtle card here that has zero credits on it. So if you put that in there, that shows you have zero print credits. So if I tried to print using the, uh, in the snap station, oops. Hang on. Okay. Try to print. It'll say, okay, I'm saving. I'm going to print now. And then it'll say, uh, oh man, CRTs suck. If you want, if you like these pictures, please make sure print credit exists. So in this case, it does not, and it will not let you print. So, um, what I tried to figure out how to do was to put the first tried to do was try to figure out how to put card credits back on the cards. And um, you, you can buy modern smart readers for about card readers for about twenty dollars nowadays. Um, but I put that, these cards into the reader, and I got nothing. Uh, the reader blinks as if there's a card in there, but you can't read anything in, into it or write anything to it. Um, so the next thing I tried to do was figure out what kind of messages are sent being sent between the snap station and the card reader. And as it turns out, the card reader is uh, just a standard um, PC serial card reader. Uh, so I determined that if I could figure out what messages the Snap Stations was sending back to the card reader and what messages the card reader was sending back, uh, I could emulate the card reader with a valid card inside. And my main fear here was that the data was encrypted or something and I wouldn't be able to figure out the messaging system. Uh, but fortunately, uh, that was not the case, and the messages that were being transmitted were consistent and simple. Uh, essentially how it works is that the Snap Station asks if there's a card in the slot, uh, and the card reader responds whether there is or not. Uh, the snap station will then ask if there's a cred with a credit on it, and if it does, it shows the one, and if it does not, it shows the zero. It keeps asking these things over and over again until you try to use the credit. And when you try to use the credit, the snap station will say, please deposit the credit. And at this point, uh, the card reader will set the credit bit to zero on the card, tell the snap station that the credit was deposited, and that starts the print. Uh, so the system I came up with pretty much does the exact same thing as the card reader would. In addition to this, my system will reinsert a valid card with a credit on it after the last one has been deposited. And because of this, the, the Snap Station essentially has unlimited cards for unlimited credits for unlimited prints. Um, so in order to get the messages between the Snap Station and the card reader, I had to create uh, this cable. And what this is is a uh, serial spy cable, and you connect uh, one end of the system to this RS-232 adapter, you connect the other end to this adapter, and then using a third connector, you connect this into your PC, and then it allows you to see the, the messages going back and forth. Um, so that was the easy part, but the hard part was determining what the messages were, uh, but I finally got it. 
All right, so now let's get into the how-to of how to use the system. So, of course, I'm not liable for any damage this might cause, but I don't expect, if you do everything correctly, I don't expect uh, that you'll be able to screw this up. Uh, so, first off, you need to procure three th things. Uh, you need an Arduino. In this case, I'm using an Arduino Pro Mini uh, because these are like three bucks on eBay. Uh, but you can just as easily use a Arduino Uno, which are more, much more common. Uh, you also need to get a an RS-232 to TTL adapter. These are like two bucks on eBay. This connect converts the signal that the Arduino sends to the the uh, signal that the uh, snap station expects. You also probably should get this. You need a way to power this. What I do is I use the power that the snap station provides. You don't have to do this. Um, but you just got to get a standard DC barrel jack and then you plug it in and that will power this. Okay, so the first thing you got to do is turn your snap station off. So go in here and flip the switch. Uh, pull the drawer out. And the area that you want to look at, I've taken the broad brackets off here. You might have some brackets. Uh, I Just for ease of use, I remove them. So the area you're looking is right here. This is where the power comes from the snap station board and where the RS-232 connector connects to the card reader. So first thing you got to do is remove the power jack from the RS-232 adapter and then remove the RS-232 connector for the card reader from the board. So you're going to see there's two screw connectors on either side. Unscrew those and then just pull this out. So you might find there's some glue on there. Um, it's pretty old so you can probably just flick it off and it'll be come off very easily. So take the system that you've already pre-programmed with uh, my code, which is uh, programmed, which is linked to below. Uh, just program the Arduino with that code. Plug the RS-232 adapter from the system into the RS-232 jack. Might be a little snug, but you'll get it in there. Okay. Now, if you if you're using the power from the snap station to power your system, take the jack that you pulled out of your of the card reader and plug that into the barrel jack onto the system. Just a minute. Okay. So the entire setup is very simple. You got your Arduino here, that connects to your RS232 adapter here, and that's plugged into the snap station. For the power right here. So you can just move the uh, card reader out of the way. So once you've done that, simply close your system back up and turn around. So I'll close this system up. Now you look here, no card, one credit. So now you can use your snap station to print without cards. So I'll just demonstrate that. Let me get back into the printing menu. So I'll just use the standard thing I already have in here. So you go to print, now saving. Now you'll know before it said zero. Look at that, it restarts. And now it's beginning the printing process. So at this point you can be assured that it's working, but I will run the rest of the video until it begins printing. Uh, I'll actually keep the video on both the screen and the print credits, if you can see that. Now, and when this is done, as soon as the printer is done taking all 16 pictures for the uh, for the printout, it will accept the credit, it'll go to zero, and then it'll start all over again. Alright, watch this, it should go to zero, as soon as it accepts the credit, zero, you can hear the printer printing, and back to one. There you go. Um, so if you have any more questions, uh, feel free to uh, PM me or send something in the comments. Uh, if this helps you out, please uh, like and, uh, and share. Thank you.